Hi, Brent Johnson with FireWise Consultants here, and wanted to give a quick update for those of you as Firestop Special Inspectors working with Oshpod or HKI here in the state of California. Uh, previously, HKI had required us to follow PIN 67. At the end of 2022, PIN 67 was actually rescinded, and now HKI is asking us to follow PIN 58. If you're not familiar with PIN 58 or this is new news to you, please take a look at that document because now it's going to direct us or you as a Firestop Special Inspector to follow the minimum requirements for AC291 as it relates to Firestop inspections. Within that document, it says three different examinations. It doesn't talk about training programs or webinars or different classes you may have taken to meet PIN 67. It now uses clearly the word examination. So if you've never taken an online or in-person examination as it relates to Firestop Inspector, big red flag, take a look at the links down below. The three examinations that are listed in AC291 are the UL, Firestop examination, the FM4991 Firestop examination, and the International Firestop Council Firestop Special Inspector examination. So the big item we want to make sure you stress and take a look at those links in the comments section below is that these examinations might be completely different than what your qualifications were prior to PIN 67. So please take a look at PIN 58. Please uh, refresh and update yourself with what AC291 says in relation to your requirements as a fire stop inspector. And take a look at these three different programs. Each one has slight differences to them. Some may require in-person examinations. Some may be online. Some might require much more studying based on your experience than others or a different qualifications or credentials. So to each their own, what I would recommend at least you do as one basic step is once you're ready to take an examination, please first talk to your local FLSO or a compliance officer to verify those examinations and your credentials meet the requirements of what they're needing to make you a qualified fire stop inspector for HKI projects. Additionally, if you're looking to enhance your knowledge on some of the topics you may find within these examinations, please take a look at what FireWise offers at firestoptraining.com. We have multiple different online self-paced programs that will help enhance your knowledge on key topics that may or may not be found in these examinations, but really hit home to what you'll be doing every day in the field as a Firestop Special Inspector. If you have any questions, we always love to talk to you or provide any questions in the comment sections below and love to see you and look forward to seeing you out there in the field. Thanks.